Is it the big nigga? Or is there something? What the fuck is that? Already with the bullshit. Damn. Is that the. Are they killing the person who was just standing there? That nigga took every hit. And he's still standing. Yeah, I would have backed away too. What the fuck? Oh, no. that that's the big dude. That's the big dude. Oh, wait, does he, did he actually get the elixir also? Damn, then how did he get it? That's crazy, this is already confirmation that it's actually here. Damn, this is a crazy-ass place. I'm not looking or touching at anything. Anything. <laughs> Exactly. You saw that nigga before? Oh, exactly. Oh, no. 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 むちゃなのはこれだけじゃないぞ。水食料は3日分だけ。手がかりも移し1枚。手縄をつけなさい。ビーナーハードアスフォーノーリーズン。首跳ねるまで。ビーナーハードアスフォーノーリーズン。ビ
Oh, he cut his head off to bring him back. To prove that he's dead. Yeah. He's not here to fight you guys. Exactly. What the fuck? I don't understand it. Nigga, he about to dick her down in the forest. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? しかし、規則を破っては御免状も無効では。特に従って何も見つけられないより、破ってでも目的を果たした方が幕府も喜ぶだろう。そもそも規則なんてみんなが守ると信じてなきゃ成立しない幻。Exactly. <laughs> Got that nigga sweating. <laughs> she got the big nigga. Alright, how did they catch him in the first place? Oh, he a man eater. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what happened this nigga? Oh, she's dead. He said that pussy wasn't good enough. She's not dead, though. バックが新たな岩隠れ衆と接触したのは間違いない。<笑> おどもが I did not expect that we were going to start off just like this. They quick with it, though. He can just run. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't blame him for this at all. Like, bitch, you try to stick to these dumbass rules. Literally what he said last episode. Literally だが、憎しみも知った。そいつは標的ではないぞ。こいつが妻もろとも復讐するっていうころ。うん。待って、死ぬわけにはいかん。妻と子がいるんだ。ああ。え、that's <笑> He just can't do it. And then she can't do it because she feels so connected to him. Like, what the fuck? Exactly. 
心ってやつは強くなければ何も守れん He tried to go cold blooded right there. He tried to blink out. That's a sheaf? Semeto Donoska Shindakura. Kokoro Gurushi. Sona Kanjoga no Koti, you know this car. So that Jonah Donai. Was you a Goran no Gabi Marda? Damn. Has him in his clutches. It's what he taught him ever since he was a baby. I just can't do it. This wife is what prevents him from doing it. It's literally the darkness and the light. Like, what the fuck? あの時も、あの時も、この男はずっと、今と同じ顔を、何かに耐えるような目をしていた。女王を持った人間だった。私もまた、そんな彼を見て、女王と向き合うことができたんだった。私は、ここまで弱くなったのか。このままじゃ、
showing that this is what the elixir of life is like showing the true immortality and that no matter what you do to him he's essentially still going to be good that's a scary proclamation right there and the fact that these boys are going to be rushing in and that this is just like the first wave but if you guys fell or if you guys take too long they're going to be sitting in the second wave and it's going to be those boys that's about to pop off now there's a lot of shit that happened with these criminals a lot of people died of course and it's kind of funny how we just went through this whole recruitment and then as soon as this episode pops off with them there everything is fucked first off you didn't expect boy the old boy who was talking the most shit at first to get fucking deaded like what the fuck was that and then i'm like this big dude this is the same guy who was just laying there before and he wasn't doing anything uh when everybody was fighting each other and my whole thing is who the fuck captured him who like did he want to come here that's what it seems like he wanted to come here like who captured him the guy pulled out his sword to try to cut him and the sword broke on his hand like what the fuck is that like he had to have come here specifically strictly for that fucking elixir just to kind of just do whatever he wanted to do um but you also have the chick who fucked one of them of course <laughs> they're supposed to watch him and and this is kind of like what the guy was talking about is that there's a lot of people who want to just kind of get out of this situation and shit like that she tried to have sex with him and then like essentially play her way out like oh yeah you know you got me or whatever like i'll i'll do whatever in order to get out of this situation but the thing is that these guys do follow the rules <laughs> at the end of the day they're still meant to be here and shit like that so the guy just simply killed her uh if you're not willing to work it doesn't mean anything so he just he just got his licks off he was like that pussy wasn't that good <laughs> he banged her out and then just killed her because she wasn't going to do anything now ninja chick who wears the purple she's alive she just killed the other dude he has a he has a kanai in his head and there's no way that she's dead. She's probably just sleeping after killing the dude. Um, but yeah, the, the whole with the old random monk dude, like it's, it's so much was happening in this. I knew those butterflies were fucked up because they looked too juicy. And that's the first thing I saw when I saw that shit. I'm like, uh-uh, that ain't no normal butterfly. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> that's the first thing I said. What the fuck is that when I saw that shit? I'm like, that ain't no normal motherfucking butterfly. And then it stabbed this dude, it, it poisoned the guy's hand. He had to cut it off. And then it turned into fucking a plant in a matter of seconds. And there's a whole army of them. There's some huge motherfucker. There's some damn fish that looks like it came out of Heavenly Delusion that's standing there. The, the one that we just got, it's mad funny that both episode threes has this weird fish creature at the end of it. Um, these centipedes with fingers all over the place. Like... There is so much fucking fucked up creativity that's in here. It is ridiculous <laughs> at the end of the day. But I didn't expect everything to kind of go this way. But you kind of you kind of have to expect it. Of course, it was going to be shit show. You have a whole bunch of people who are just on death row trying to find something that they may not find. But it was good to have that beginning portion in there when it came to the head of, you know, Gabi Maru's clan, where it was showing that, yes, this thing does exist. And so now that we have a definite, then, okay, we're not, we're not chasing fairy tales. We're chasing reality, but where's it going to be most likely in the deepest part in there. And as they were saying, there's like some statues and everything that are looked, you know, human made and stuff like that. So there's probably people in there that are just chilling that are a part of this or like some demons or whatever that are a part of it. Right. Cause we already get to see some of them at that point in time. Uh, that constructed these statues and stuff and all these things have human faces and I was I, I so much agreed with Gabi Maru when she was like oh this is so pretty like uh, all these flowers are so lush he's like you don't mean creepy as hell like that's the first thing I thought this is creepy as fuck like I'm good you don't even know if a tree is a tree <laughs> we just saw old boy with plants growing out of him and shit you don't know if these flowers are regular flowers you don't know if the trees are trees the bushes are bushes you don't know none of that shit you're walking into some situation that's going to fuck you over at the end of the day. So it's interesting to see how all this is going. So Getty was honestly, honestly getting on my nerves. Bound your hands. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you have them with hands bound? 
when they have to find something in a treacherous land, do you think them having their hands tied up is going to stop them from doing anything? And it's regular rope. <laughs> like, what? It's regular rope. Each and every one of them should be able to break out of that. It's like, it just, it just didn't make sense. Like, she wants to follow it so much about it. But the other guy was right. Like, you really, you really need to step off the gas on that. And I like how she kind of just still conformed with it. She realized, of course, Gabi Maru isn't some sort of killing machine, which she pretty much already knew, that he's gained a heart and it was because of his wife. Also reveals that his parents were killed all because they had him as a child and they wanted to get out of the situation. But of course, you can't leave the clan. It's like a fucking game. You can't leave. Like, nigga, I just want to live a normal life. I'm tired of killing. I'm trying to raise my kid right. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to raise him in the bullshit. Mm -mm -mm. They're going to be here too they're gonna stay so uh there's a lot to this a lot to the characters and stuff like that too did not expect uh some of these people who were kind of prominent to be taken out getting taken out but hey it is what it is bakugo just ripping off arms and shit they're just enjoying the show that's all it is really interesting <laughs> to see everything go down um but i'm glad that we had gabi murderu beat her ass <laughs> um I'm, because I'm, i was just like it doesn't really make sense because they kind of played it out a little bit more in um, the first episode like she was like some type of powerhouse but then the second episode it was like oh no she has this innate fear and shit so she's not and then obviously the guy was going to say that she's like the lowest ranking person there because she has this fear that's about her right she's either the lowest or the second lowest and um it's good to see her beat it, uh, see him beat her ass. I'm, I'm sorry. It just is just for just to get it in your head that he can do this at any point in time. And he has not really tried it before. He only tried it this time because he knew shit was going to go uh, basically south and that they can kind of come to some realization with one another of kind of keeping things going. Uh, you never know. Maybe he might crack it before he sees his wife. You never know. I'm saying i'm just playing <laughs> either way. That's pretty much it. This is KYD. Like, comment, subscribe and all the good shit. I am out. Peace.